human beings have been developing machines to do tedious or time-consuming tasks so that their lives become easier. And now, life without machines has become very difficult. Welcome to the first session on Introduction to AI Foundational Concepts. In this session, let us learn what is intelligence, decision making, what is artificial intelligence, how do machines become artificially intelligent, the applications of AI around us and what is not AI. As I said, life without machines has become very difficult. Machines have become more sophisticated and smart. For example, the television screens from the last century to now have shown improvement in resolution and their projection techniques. Similarly, a smartphone can do much more than just calling up people. They can help in navigating, listening to music, watching movies, taking pictures and videos and a lot more. So, we see machines becoming more sophisticated and smart. Isn't it? No two of us can think and learn the same way. The theory of multiple intelligences suggests that each individual possesses nine types of intelligences. These intelligences combine to form any individual's specific cognitive potential. Let us understand them. The first type of intelligence that any human beings would possess is to solve puzzles, do mathematical calculations, like mathematicians, scientists, accountants. So mathematical, logical, reasoning intelligence is the first type of intelligence which is the ability to understand numeric symbols, abstraction and logic. We see some people who are very good in speaking and solving word puzzles. So lawyers, narrators, orators, teachers are some of the examples for those who possess linguistic intelligence. Linguistic intelligence is the ability to speak and recognize a language in written form or verbal form. What kind of an intelligence does an artist, map reader or an architect possess? They have the ability to perceive the visual world and the relationship of one object to another. So they possess the third type of intelligence which we call as spatial visual intelligence. What about dancers, players? They have the ability to use their limbs in a skilled manner. So the fourth type of intelligence is the kinesthetic intelligence. Now what about composers, singers, musicians? They have the ability to recognize sound patterns and rhythms. So the fifth type of intelligence is the musical intelligence. The sixth type of intelligence is the intrapersonal intelligence which is the ability to realize oneself by understanding their strength and weaknesses. That is to understand what you feel and what you want. So example could be like Gautam Buddha. The next type of intelligence is the ability to use one's thought and intuition to answer questions about human intelligence. Tackling questions on why we live, why we die. So this is existential intelligence. Examples include the philosophers and theologians. The eighth type of intelligence is the ability to recognize and categorize plants, animals and other objects in nature. So this is naturalist intelligence. Examples could be landscape architects, gardeners who come under this category. The last type of intelligence is the ability to communicate with others by understanding the other people's feelings and responding appropriately. So this includes people like salesmen, counselors who possess interpersonal intelligence. 
you'll also find some of us being very social whereas some of us are not all human beings have nine types of intelligences but at different levels now let us define the term intelligence intelligence is the ability to interact with the real world reason plan and adapt for example when we read something we are able to understand its meaning and answer with regard to it or when we are talking to someone we understand what they mean and reply accordingly by understanding the term intelligence it must be noticed that decision making comprises a crucial part of it how do we make decisions the basis of decision making depends upon the availability of information and how we experience or understand it we consider our past experience intuition knowledge and self awareness for taking decision now let us understand how information helps in taking good decisions imagine that you are locked inside a room with three doors to move out of the locked room and you need to find a safe door to get your way out behind the first door is a lake with a deadly shark behind the second door is a mad psychopath ready to kill you with a weapon and behind the third door is a lion which has not eaten anything since last two months now which door would you choose and why the answer is gate number 3 the reason being that since the lion has not taken food for two months there are high chances that the lion would be dead so this makes going out from gate 3 as the correct option now let us see another scenario arti has invited four of her friends to her house they had not seen each other for a long time so they chatted all night and had a good time in the morning two of arti's friends were dead the police arrived at the house and found both the friends were poisoned and the poison was in the strawberry pie the three surviving friends told the police that they had not eaten the pie when the police questioned shiv said I am allergic to strawberries. Seema said, "I am on a diet," and Arthi said, "I eat too many strawberries while cooking the pie." The policeman looked at the pictures and immediately identified the murderer. The answer was Seema. Can you guess how the police identified? It's because in the picture she is found eating burger and. french fries where she said that she is on a diet so looking at these scenarios we can make out that the information helps human beings to take good decisions so with these two examples we understand that decision making comprises of a crucial part of understanding intelligence now let us understand what is artificial intelligence when a machine possesses the ability to mimic human traits or take decisions predict the future learn and improve on its own we say that it is artificial intelligence in other words we say that a machine is artificially intelligent when it can do tasks by itself that is by collecting data understanding it analyzing it learning from it and improving it now what makes a machine artificially intelligent we humans become more and more intelligent with time as we gain experiences for example as kids we learned alphabets and then learned words then we learned to frame sentences so as we grew we group these sentences and use it in our conversation similarly machines become more intelligent once they are trained with information which helps them to achieve their tasks ai machines keep updating their knowledge to optimize their output 
knowingly or unknowingly, we are surrounded by the machines that work on AI. Some of them are Google. Google comes up with results to search in a matter of seconds. It also autocorrects our spellings or typed sentences. The next application is the voice assistant. Voice assistants like Alexa, Siri, Google Assistant, Cortana are a major part of digital devices that we use in our daily lives. To navigate to different places, we make use of Google Maps. A lot of games played nowadays are backed up with AI, which helps in enhancing the graphics, coming up with new difficulty levels, isn't it? Apps like Amazon, Netflix, Spotify, and YouTube shows us recommendations on the basis of what we search and what we like. So these recommendations are not just limited to these apps. These days we find recommendations even on Facebook. Snapchat filters make our selfies look very cool. AI is also used to monitor our health. A lot of chatbots are used in the healthcare industry, which is continuously used to monitor the physical and mental health of users. Humanoid, Sophia, the first robo which is sophisticated enough to get citizenship, able to recognize face and talk real time is also based on AI. Since we have a lot of different technologies that exist around us in today's time, it is very common for us to misunderstand any other technology with AI. Not all devices that are smart or AI enabled. Any machine that has been trained with data can make decisions or predictions on its own way only can be termed as AI. Now, let us identify whether these machines are AI enabled or not. An automated toy car, is this an AI? No. A virtual reality box, is this an AI? No. But a self-driving car, or a face recognition system is definitely an AI because they have an AI component inside that helps to take decisions and make predictions. So any machine that has been trained with data and can take decisions or predictions can only be termed as AI. In this session, we have learnt what is intelligence, what are the different types of intelligences, the role of decision making in being intelligent, what is artificial intelligence, how a machine becomes artificially intelligent, what are the applications of AI, what is AI and what is not. I hope you have understood these clearly. Please do like, share and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you.